keep hearing about Bitcoin and you wonder why the internet is yelling about digital coins, here is the fast truth in a tiny espresso shot. Bitcoin exists to let you send value without asking a gatekeeper for permission. No bank clerk, no business app, no borders. It is money that runs on code and a public network of computers. It was launched in 2009 by someone called Satoshi Nakamoto. The goal was simple. Create digital cash that cannot be printed at will and does not need trust in a single company. The big trick is scarcity. There will only ever be 21 million bitcoins. Not a guess. It is written into the rules of the network. Everyone running the rules checks that number. If software tried to make more honest nodes, would reject it. That hard cap is rare in the digital world where copy and paste is king. Bitcoin solves the double spend problem with a shared public ledger called a blockchain. Every transaction gets recorded in blocks. Blocks connect in a chain that points backward through time. Change one block and the later ones break. Tampering becomes obvious and expensive. So who writes the next block? Miners do that with a process called proof of work. They use machines to search for a special number by hashing data again and again. It is like rolling a gigantic dice until the result fits the rule. The first valid block gets broadcast to the network. Other nodes verify the work and the transactions. If it checks out, they add it to their copy. Miners earn new Bitcoin as a reward plus transaction fees. That reward halves roughly every four years. This is the halving. It reduces the new SP supply on a known schedule. Over time, the inflation rate trends towards zero. Scarcity plus predictability gives Bitcoin monetary discipline. There is another class of fees. Mining difficulty adjusts about every two weeks. If too many miners show up, it gets harder to find a block. If miners leave, it gets easier. This keeps block times near 10 minutes on average. No committee decides this. It is automatic. The network is open for anyone to join. You do not ask for a license to make a wallet. You can hold your own keys and send value directly. Your wallet uses a private key to sign a message. Nodes verify the signature with your public key. You do not need to be famous for your payment to go through. You only need valid math. So where does value come from? Value comes from what Bitcoin lets you do that other systems cannot. It gives you digital scarcity without a central authority. It gives you censorship resistance. It gives you permissionless access. It gives you global settlement in about an hour with multiple confirmations. It gives you a transparent supply that no one can secretly change. It gives you property you can secure with knowledge of a key instead of a metal vault. It is portable across the planet with a backup phrase. One coin is divisible into 100 million units called Satoshi. You can pay small amounts or large amounts with the same rules. The network effect matters too. More users and more miners raise the cost of attacking the system. More developers improve tools, wallets, and infrastructure. More liquidity makes it easier to enter and exit markets. As the network grows, the brand energy and the security grow with it. Does energy use matter? Yes. Proof of work anchors. Bitcoin to real world cost. Energy makes cheating expensive and honesty rational. Miners chase cheap power and often use stranded or surplus energy. Debates about impact continue, but the mechanism is clear. Energy secures the ledger. What about speed? Base layer. Bitcoin is optimized for security and finality. You can still get fast everyday payments with the Lightning Network. Lightning is a layer that lets you send instant small transactions and settle back to the base chain. Think of it as opening a fast lane above a secure highway. Now the part where you say, say, if you hold your own keys, you hold your coin. Lose the keys and you lose access. Just write down your seed phrase and store it offline with care. Use a hardware wallet if you want extra protection. Never share your phrase with anyone. Not even the cool sounding tech support person. Risks exist. Software can have bugs. Humans can make mistakes. Markets can get wild in both directions. Regulators can change rules in different countries. Forks can happen when communities disagree. Education and patience help you avoid drama. So why do some people treat Bitcoin like digital gold? Because it is hard to make more. Hard to see but stale. Easy to transport. 
be easy to verify because it lives on open source code that anyone can inspect. Because the policy is not controlled by a boardroom. Because it can store purchasing power over time if demand persists. We'll live by your coffee everywhere. Maybe sometime. But store of value and settlement network are the core ideas. T or day. Medium of exchange grows as tools improve and volatility shrinks with size. Nothing about this is guaranteed. The future depends on people continuing to use the network and maintain the rules. Let us tie the story together. Bitcoin exists to be money without a central printer. It achieves this with a fixed supply, proof of work security, and a public ledger. Its value comes from its utility, its credible scarcity, its network effects, and its resistance to censorship. It is not perfect. It is tricky. It can be slow, perfect. But that slowness is the shield that protects the history of your transactions. If you stayed with me this far, you now understand the heartbeat of Bitcoin. Scarcity is coded. Security is paid for. Rules are public. Access is open. You get a system that treats you like an adult who can hold their own key. You also get responsibility to learn before you click send. If this helps you see the big picture, hit like and subscribe for more clear crypto explainers. Tell me what topic you want next and I will bring the turbo voice again. This video is for education only and not financial advice.